I welcome you all, my dear brothers and sisters, as we will be beginning the days of the Novena in order to celebrate the great feast of the birthday of our Blessed Mother. Of course, all over the world, we also remember her as Our Lady, our Mother of Good Health. So today, the 29th, honor her by the hoisting of the flag and then all through the days of the Novena and finally on the feast day itself, the 8th of September, when we celebrate the birthday of our Blessed Mother. For all these 11 days, we will be having a short or a brief reflection basically on our Blessed Mother who is presented in the scriptures as someone unique and special, the Mother of God. So in these 11 days or these 11 reflections that we will be having, we'll be going through the various aspects of our Blessed Mother that we find in the scriptures. But today, on the 29th, that is the day wherein the hoisting of the flag is done all over the world, of course, but this year, because of this coronavirus pandemic, in such a grand way, probably we are not able to have, but then spiritually, we will accompany or we will join with every Marian shrine that uh, we might uh, uh, be with. So wherever we are, whatever we are uh, uh, going to do, May we, able, may we be able to join in this beautiful celebration in honoring our Blessed Mother. We shall begin with a prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for this time of grace that you are giving to us. Yes, Lord, and even as we begin our preparations for the celebration of the feast of our Blessed Mother, we pray that you assist us. And as you were with our Blessed Mother, and as you led her, Likewise, be with us, remain with us, stay with us, and lead us forward. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> now, first and foremost, in the scriptures, we have the name Mary mentioned or at least applied to seven different persons. So, seven different people are having the name Mary. And that's what we find in the scriptures. So I thought this will be the basis for the first reflection uh, for these days of the Novena. That means the name Mary is a common name. Many people at that time had the name Mary. Or rather, the parents had given the name Mary to their children. Of course, our Blessed Mother was given the name Mary by her parents, Joachim and Anne. Apart from her, the next Mary that we find in the scriptures is Mary Magdalene. Now Mary Magdalene, we have the mention of her especially at the cross. So Mary Magdalene is there along with the mother of Jesus at the foot of the cross. Matthew chapter 27 verse 56 and Mark chapter 5, sorry, chapter 15 verse 40. So, there are these two particular references and of course later on you'll find Mary Magdalene also uh, at the resurrection. So, when Jesus appears after his resurrection for the first time, so he gives his apparition to uh, Mary Magdalene. So, therefore, Mary Magdalene is the next, let's say, the important person after our Blessed Mother carrying the name Mary. The next Mary that we have is uh, we find in Mark 15, 40 and also the same Matthew 27, 56, we have Mary, the mother of James and Jonas. Mary, the mother of James and Jonas. Now, she is also sometimes called as the other Mary. The other Mary. Why? Because at the foot of the cross, there is mention of the mother of Jesus Christ and there is mention of Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, the mother of uh, James and Jonas. Then the fourth uh, person is Mary, the wife of Clopas. Mary, the wife of Clopas. We'll find that in John chapter 19, verse 25. So Clopas, no, mother, sorry, no, wife is Mary. Of course, now who this Clopas is? Well, probably in the early church, Clopas was an important figure. That's the reason why he is mentioned by name. But then, otherwise in the scriptures, Clopas is not of a, a very great significance as we see. 
Then the fifth person, as we see, is Mary, who is a sister of Martha and Lazarus. So all of us know the story of Lazarus, how Lazarus was raised from the dead. He had two sisters, Mary and Martha. This we will find in Luke's Gospel, Luke chapter 10, verses 39 onwards, 39 to 42, where Mary, the sister of Martha and Lazarus. Then the sixth person is Mary, the mother of John Mark. Mary, the mother of John Mark. That is, we will find in Acts of the Apostles, Acts chapter 12, verse 12, the mother of John Mark. Then the seventh person is in the letter to the Romans. St. Paul sends his greetings, Romans 16, 16. So Mary is the recipient of the greetings that St. Paul is conveying or communicating. Now, why am I telling you all this? Of course, good for us to know that these many people are there. Good for us to know the various references where you can find the mention of uh, the name Mary. But then what we are trying to underline here is, although the name Mary is common, many people had the name, but the way in which the Lord God selected and chose Mary is something very unique. So she is given a special role. That's why it is called as she was given a singular grace. Such a grace which no one else had. So many Marys are there. But among all of them, Mary, our Blessed Mother, was given a unique, a special grace. So it is this uniqueness, this speciality that we are celebrating. So she was selected, chosen to be the mother of the Son of God. And therefore, as we are preparing to celebrate the birthday of our Blessed Mother, we are remembering how the Lord called her, selected her right from the beginning and gave her this singular grace. So we shall meet again tomorrow uh, with this, uh, or rather we'll meet again tomorrow and continue with this reflection of our Blessed Mother based on the scriptures. So thank you and God bless you.